Hi, good morning, Meena. How are you? I'm good. How are you, Kumar? Yes, we are okay. These days are very difficult days for us, so we are just trying to overcome the days. <laughs> yeah, I understand. That's yeah. fine. Yes, tomorrow is exactly one year. So, yes, mm -hmm. yesterday we had our memorial service. So, yesterday, right. yesterday was her birthday, so everything coming together. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know. Yeah, very difficult days for all of us, yeah. Okay, mm. your answer, yeah. answer is very good. I think you are doing very well. You understand the question and uh, mm -hmm. you are reading it very well. And more than anything, I think I like the presentation, what you do. That is great. Mm -hmm. So keep on that kind of a thing. Uh, mm -hmm. We start timing settling down, uh, Veena. Oh, sorry, how is my what? I mean, I mean, I mean, can oh, you manage? Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm able to, uh, okay. like the, the second mark, I did it in, um, I mean, I did, uh, did uh, like quite, quite, quite in a good time. Oh, okay, that's great. So keep up that one, mm -hmm. keep practicing. I think uh, mm -hmm. that's all right because I think the, the, the results came just now of the early exam. So, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, thank God, uh, almost everyone has done very well in the exam. Mm -hmm. When I say very well, I mean not very big marks, but they have got the, the, the pass mark, true. And right. oh, almost, oh. I have seen 99% success. I have one student, I don't know, she's a bright student, but she always comes down in the first time. Uh, mm -hmm. So, except for her, all the others have done so well in the exam. Both the strategic case study, the managerial mm -hmm. case study. Oh, so, okay, so are they uh, were they all uh, gateway students or they were doing it from the uh, level uh, level by level? Some are from gateway, some are from the level by level. Yeah, okay. both both the same case study, but uh, right. I mean almost all who have done have done very well, and some have written to me saying that you know the 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 technique what we discussed was mm -hmm. all right for them. So the technique what we have been discussing is taking the 45 minutes, splitting it to 15 minutes and 5 and taking mm -hmm. the balance for the task and that has mm -hmm. worked very well for them. And the other thing what right. they have to me is all about the technical models that we use that also became mm -hmm. very handy for everyone who sat for the exam. Because some people have sat for the exam earlier twice but they have come down but this time using the techniques what we did they have done very mm -hmm. well. So that's great. I mean, not very big, big results, but uh, in the 90s, 87, yeah. uh, mm -hmm. normally I thought the pass mark is 90, but I think they have lowered the pass mark uh, mm -hmm. because the people who got 85, 87 also have got through the exam. So that's some right. good news for all of us. Oh, good, good. congratulations. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just keep it up. Just keep it up doing. I think it should be all right. So right. today, you remember um, we were yeah. doing the mark. Yeah, I mean, you have any questions? Yeah, I just uh, I was just asking like, is my language uh, fine? Uh, in very the, good, in the, in very good. That is what I was saying. Yes, that's very good because that's the kind of a language we must use. Not uh, right. very high flown, but very simple. Mm -hmm. But your way is very good because it's very readable. Right. Ultimately, yeah. that is just, what matters. It's not too technical, too complicated. No, uh, mm -hmm. grammatically, presentation-wise, the the quantity-wise, quality-wise, it's good. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's right. fine then. Yeah. yeah, so keep it up, just going on that one. I think you should be doing very well. So, oh, okay. you remember you. we were on this uh, DC tree film. The first 45 minutes, it was all about, you know, things getting messed up. And then they had to, they had to, uh, they were wondering whether to release it on the scheduled date or wait for mm -hmm. it. Second thing, even mm -hmm. after doing another 16 million things was really not good yet. And then mm -hmm. they were thinking of screening, but with a big failure loss. And the question mm -hmm. was whether we should disclose it, all that kind of a thing. That is what right. we discussed last week. Then the third yes. one, earlier we discussed it, which you answered today or rather last week. It was all about, you know, they were trying to get another mm -hmm. party to do the special effects, but yeah. they had to keep the cost to a certain figure, how to handle mm -hmm. that one and the challenges of 
you know, two teams, two the production mm -hmm. finance working together. So all that was done. Now finally right. they have come to a situation ultimately at the end of the day with all the mess up that they had, they say uh, have been overcome and the film is screened on the schedule and now it is expected it to be a smash in box office scene. Right. So with a kind of a uh, uh, threatening failure, they managed mm -hmm. to get this hovel and to get these uh, uh, plate people to do the extra special effects. Probably they could have mm -hmm. kept it at the cost or at a certain price. The film mm -hmm. that was expected to be a failure and a loss, now it is going to be a smash in box office scene. Okay, okay. Right. So that's basically the idea here. So Isabella, mm -hmm. your finance director must be very happy to present. She's inviting you for coffee. And she says, mm -hmm. I think it that you have seen the good news about the reaction of the media. You remember the earlier the media was very attacking. Yeah. This newspaper mm -hmm. article is very typical of the coverage that we have been receiving. I just come from the board meeting. Directors are in a reflective mood now that DC is finally in the cinemas. They are keen to look at a head of future production of films. So you remember mm -hmm. we went through a lot of crisis and now they are wondering right. how, what lessons can we learn from this film. Mm -hmm. So it's a very good thing the directors are doing. Uh, yeah. Directors are looking something long term. They somehow mm -hmm. got over the problem, but they are not, you know, just thinking about that one and being happy and throwing a party. They are in a reflective mode. They want to see what lessons we can look for the future production of film. Right. The board believes that we should focus more on total quality management, adapting mm -hmm. our approval for the fact that we subcontract significant aspects of our special effect designs and other areas to third parties. So hmm. quality becomes a very, very important thing. There is no question about it in a film. And mm -hmm. you remember, I have been always saying film is a project. There are three attributes. Yeah. One is the quality of the film. Other one is the delivery date. Other one is the budget. Much. Yeah. Three items, always we have to keep that in mind. Whenever we produce a film, the, produce, the film should be of a quality. Quality means mm -hmm. the thing that the audience wants it. Right. It's not what we decide as quality. It is what the ultimately the audience decide it as a quality film or not. Right. Then yeah. the delivery is very important because the film halls, uh, they schedule the film. If you delay, they will take the next film and then you will have to go back on the queue and stand on the queue and wait for your screen in time. And mm -hmm. films yeah. are spent. Uh, made with lot of money, probably in this case we saw they were typically uh, taking money on equity finance, which is a good thing. If they take on loan finance, they have to pay interest on the yeah. money that they have taken till the film is screened, till they collect the money. Right. And also now we can see the quality becomes very important because not that everything is within our control. Just like we saw in DC3, there are many other aspects that we have to give it to the outsiders to get it done, mm -hmm. like the special effects. Right. And all, that, all that means uh, you have to have a very good uh, coordination of quality because mm -hmm. remember we failed because probably we did not manage the product well, the project well right. at the initial stages. Right. right. So the board is now thinking we subcontract, but please start a paper for me, discuss the board's view on maintenance approach to TQA. So total okay. quality management. Some right. of the board members were concerned that the successful launch of DC3 will increase our share price. They are misplaced concern that this means that we must now be paying more for finance. Mm -hmm. right. So the question some of the board directors are asking is now the share price will go up. When the share price goes up, we have to pay more for finance. Right. That's something that they are talking about. So please discuss okay. the implications of a successful film launch for our VAC in order to address both fears. Right. So right. please discuss the implications of a successful film launch for our VAC. VAC is our 
weight and average cost weight of capital. Cost of capital. Weight and average yeah. cost of capital is the the average cost of both the equity finance and uh, debt finance uh, together. Debt finance together. Yes. Right. So debt yeah. finance generally the cost won't move out or move up or down. It generally fixed. So what they say is when the equity finance when the equity prices goes up, the cost of finance goes up. That's what they are thinking right. is. So these right. are your points. Mm -hmm. So let's look at this article also. So you remember the business record about the paper that earlier gave a big this thing. Now they are mm -hmm. coming out with a beautiful thing. Dinosaur crash tree exceeds expect ex, uh, exceeds expectations by the report shed right? Right. U.S. cinema opened at last week with the launching of the premiere show of Dinosaur Crash 3 and the crowds gathered but standing in queue from early hours desperate to buy a ticket and watch the film. There were reports mm -hmm. of fights between potential fanatic film goers somehow wanting to see the film on the first day itself. Social media sites had many first impression reviews with most commentators agreeing that the film was very much better than expected. As expected, all shows are running houseful all over USA for past one week and online booking sites are jammed with so many wanting to book the tickets. Maintain share price rose in response to the successful launch of DC3 in their very first film. Right. You can see the director's concern because the paper article says the share prices have gone up. I mean, not only the paper article, in the, it's a listed company, so they would have seen the share prices going up. Right. So we have to find out one thing. We have to find out the relationship between the share price and the cost of equity. Number one. Right. Uh, rather, that's the second part. Then also we have to look at the the total quality management. What do you know about total mm -hmm. quality management, Vina? Mm, total quality management. Um, basically, what I what I understand is yeah. a culture yeah. in the organization yeah. and. Uh, uh, I mean, it's it's not only the uh, duty of the production team to okay. look uh, on the film, but everyone, every department has to contribute and exactly. make sure that the film goes well. Yes, yeah. If you take it in very general term, it's a team effect, the total yeah. quality management. So I have just few slides. I just want to discuss the slides to area. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, today we live, when we talk about the manufacturing, it's not only the manufacturing. Whatever the industry mm -hmm. we live in a in an uh, in an uh, in a kind of an environment where the things are very much different from the earlier scenarios. The mm -hmm. environments are changing very quickly and mm -hmm. somewhat unpredictably. Mm -hmm. Therefore, uh, very very difficult to predict the customer requirements, customer needs. Customer needs are changing. There's so mm -hmm. much of competition. Rivals are creating better products more quickly, kind of a thing. So mm -hmm. uh, always we have to look at what are the critical success factor in our film industry. For example, mm -hmm. what are the critical success factor? What is the critical success factor? Is that something that will have to go right if objectives mm -hmm. are to be achieved? Right. Yeah. So in a film, I think the getting the right cost is a critical yep. success factor right yes getting finance on time is a critical success factor because yes. if you don't have your finances and if you start and if you have to stop the film halfway through it may be a difficult thing to achieve the profit ultimately mm -hmm. getting right. special yeah. effects today may be a critical mm -hmm. success factor having right, right cinemas to show the film is a critical success factor mm -hmm. and those are some other critical success so in the film industry you have to find that thing now what are the things that we have to get right the first time to when it when it has to happen so unlike mm -hmm. earlier days i remember when we were young we used to go and see a film for the sake of watching a film the film was boring but there was no other entertainment available the only entertainment available was to go and see a film. But today, mm -hmm. it's, it's totally different. There are many sources of entertainment. 
you don't need want in fact you don't need to get out of your home you can get entertained at home with many things so therefore right. customer satisfaction becomes primarily important unlike those days for a fit mm -hmm. yeah so you have to you have to we have to make a very greater focus on the quality of the product because it's that quality that matters it's not the cost earlier the theory was somehow keep the cost to a particular level but that is what we were doing in standard costing predetermined costing we do it at a lower cost and and somehow want to keep it at that but today cost is not so important compared to the quality you can see in this way the same film they had to spend lot of additional money but by spending additional money ultimately they got a super super film which is now has become a box office hit right if they were concerned about the money they could have just gone with the film and would have been a failure so today mm. this is what we call world class manufacturers it's not only for the film manufacturing whatever the industry it can be service it can be manufacturing whatever this is what we call the world class the idea is we should be successful we should have the ability to adopt to change in business environment right and in the film industry what is the change in business environment i think this 4d films all that kind of a thing is the new kind of a environment yes so there are a lot of things i'll say are these slides with you but uh, but i want to get out get in peace straight away the characteristics of modern manufacturing environment they use lot of automation you saw the computer mm -hmm. imagery and all that kind of a thing there is a right. global environment you are not going to produce a film just for only for your country you are thinking of doing it all, all over the world right yes your focus will be on cost reductions not really cost control you want to do that value analysis functional analysis and see like what you saw what you wrote today without compromising the quality without compromising the 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 the, the needs of the viewers how can we do the cost reductions right you are very much focused on the customer you need very mm -hmm. flexible systems uh, you saw in this mm -hmm. film they they you know the things did not go right first time second time third time so uh, you can't be just sitting on a budget and just saying this is what we can spend more than that you should be more flexible in a situation like that even the finance for that matter should should be able to be flexible and to give that additional finance and trust them to do something better and better right and this is where more employee participation comes up you must get ideas of the people in the film maybe the crew maybe the production people all those people get them into a brainstorming session and try to get their participation hmm you have to remember the products have a very short life cycle unlike those days right the when you take a product whatever the product it may be it is we now today we don't take a car to run for 20 years we take a car to run for 3 years and we want to change it we don't take the right. telephone to stay for lifetime like those days our old black land phones we want to change the phones almost you know one year six months maybe so the even a film is not going to run like those days for 365 days two years that kind of a thing because there's a choice of films coming up and the film mm -hmm. will run only for a limited period we must run the film at house full as much as possible to make the money right we can't keep it for two months three months because there's a heap of films on the queue and the cinemas will want to get away from your film and to show another film okay so yeah. at the end of the day that means good quality so this is mm. what the characteristics of a modern manufacturing environment okay this is what we call the total quality management as you rightly said the the what it means is the three words total means everyone 
who is involved in the value chain. What is the value chain? The value chain only creates value for the fee. The cast, mm -hmm. the script, the special effects, all those are part of the value chain, including right. the infrastructure. Remember the value chain? I, in fact, in your answer, I said to, uh, to put up the value chain also into the scene. I mean, not to draw the charts or anything, but just speak the porter's value chain. You remember there are pri four primary activities, um, five primary activities, four supporting yeah. activities. Yeah? Yes. Right? So uh, everyone in that, the, 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 the ultimate product is the addition of value by all those. Finance, the, mm -hmm. the people in the inventory, uh, the, everyone adds value. And that is what we get the product. And to that we add the margin and then we sell it. And that's how we make the profit. Okay, yeah. So total means everyone in the value chain is involved in the quality management. So mm -hmm. it should be not only, as you rightly said, it's not only the quality department or the product producer who should be bothered about the quality, the, the main actor, the co-actor, the cast, the crew, everyone should get involved in to see that finally the product is of good quality. Remember in the right. film industry, most of these uh, top class actors, they act on a profit sharing basis. Yes. Right? Yeah. So because of that, obviously they will be interested in the quality. So you have to get their mm -hmm. views across to see whether the film, if they had done that one, DC3 could have been a better success than all the troubles what they went through. Right. And ultimately the quality means it's something that will meet the customer's requirements. You remember in this question, after spending the 16 million, the quality was all right. But Anton Chan was not happy with the quality from the customer's point of view. Okay. Normally it should have been all right. The quality was all right. It was better than the, the horrible thing that earlier came. It was all right. Uh, generally, a contented person would have been happy to say, yes, it's all right, let's go with that film. But our man was not interested, right? Because he knew, he probably knew the concept of total quality management. He said, no, mm -hmm. the film is all right, but still not all right to make it a success from the, from the viewer's point of view. Mm -hmm. And management means it's a kind of a proactive situation you manage the, the the problems rather than you know waiting for everything to happen just like what we saw and then going back and trying to you know do firefight mm, yeah. so it's a basically a proactive kind of a thing that is why everyone in the chain will have a say about the quality so there are basically yeah. three principles involved in the TQM which you can always put in a question like this principles is get it right first time mm -hmm. don't complete the film and then again spend another 16 million another 40 million and be under heart attacks and that kind of a thing do it get it right very first time mm -hmm. continuous improvement so this is what they are trying to do now after doing this film they are not just happy with what they have done they want to make the next film better and better and better mm. this is what we call the kaizen concept basically you are never never happy with what you have got you are you want to do something more and more and more all the time mm -hmm. finally the customer focus so these are the three concepts of the tqm principles if you really go through it right first time so you basically you do want any zeros any rejects to happen any problems to happen zero defects zero problems kind of a thing continuous improvement you do one film you are not happy with the film even though it's a box office hit, you want to do better next time better next time better next time Mm -hmm. And ultimately, okay. quality is always from the customer's point of view, not from your point of view. Not to say we have spent 96 million, that's enough, let's go with it. That's not the total quality management principle. 
Right. These are the three areas of total quality management. So how we approach total quality management is, as you rightly said, it must come from the top to bottom. The top mm -hmm. must demonstrate that they are committed to quality. Okay. Right. So Anton Chan we saw and the entire board should be taking that right direction, not anything but top quality. The middle management right. must be committed to that quality and they must okay. communicate it to the lower levels that quality is important. Okay. So for that purpose, we have to have a quality change, a series of quality chains because the quality is now in the film, if you remember, there's pre-production, production and all sorts of the chain is working. It's, it goes to a chain of processes. So mm -hmm. uh, every area should be subject to lot of quality scrutiny because right. one area is not done, then it's going to be a complete failure all the time. So we have, we saw in the chain, one link failing, the, the special effects failing. Right. Yes. It can be music, it can be editing, it can be, you know, whatever. So the entire chain must work all the time. So mm -hmm. for that to happen, what they do is, now for a film like this, they must have a quality circle. Quality okay. circle is a basically a set of volunteers in the film coming together they will uh -huh. be doing something something voluntary yeah they will try to identify the problems because you can't put everything on the producer you can't put everything on the director there is a, a kind of a set of people maybe some people will get together they will watch the movement of every time of the film and see mm -hmm. where the things are not happening and they will identify they will investigate, they will analyze, and they will give some solutions. Okay. They are not, they don't have the executive power to implement the solutions, but they mm. will present the solution to the film management, and and then if, they, if the management accepts it, they will be involved in implementing and monitoring. Okay, yeah. So it's a voluntary approach, it's a team approach, and it is a way to solve the problems. Okay. So simply this is what we call total quality management. Right. Now from that angle you have to see how we can get through this film. What is our total quality management? Now I want you to think one thing. You remember in that paper article they spoke about the social media. Social media mm -hmm. you know, is a very effective uh, advertising media today. The people mm -hmm. go a lot by the social media, the comments in the social media, the sharing of the social media is much, much more effective than the newspapers and, you know, even maybe television. Right. People are spending a lot of time on the Facebook and people are more updated with what is stated in the Facebook than what is stated, what is in the newspaper and the, all the other areas. So, right. so we have to be very, very focused on this question and on, on many questions on the film industry about the social media. So now mm -hmm. we know our scenario, the film is a success. So you will be, you know, uh, sending a kind of a relief breathe to the board of directors saying that, you know, I'm so happy that it has ultimately turned out to be a the smash in hit. Success. Yeah. Yeah. Something that you know you should be very happy because you also contributed in, in many ways, but now it's a big relief for everyone. So you should be focusing on that one. Now okay. our question first of all is uh, the the board believes we should focus more on total quality management. Mm -hmm. Please talk to the paper for me that discuss the board's view on maintenance approach to TQA. Okay. So how do we work through the TQM? So we can discuss little about the TQM concept, not too much about the TQM, the whole thing. So basically what we have to look at is the ultimately how we can apply TQM for future films. Okay. 
Boards waves. Discuss the boards waves. So what is the boards waves? We should focus more on total quality management. So I'm sure you will agree with the board that it's the right mm -hmm. thing to do, isn't it? Yeah. It's the right thing to do. Because TQM will be an important concept for maintaining. Mm -hmm. Because ultimately the end viewers will mm -hmm. be very much looking at social media and other online communications to right. see the customer attitude towards the film mm -hmm. right? and if it fails if the customers are not satisfied with the film then they will put up some bad experiences on the social media and that can discourage the potential viewers to come and watch the film okay yeah so uh, any any quality defects which is meant to be the, the, the total quality management means customer focus so anything mm -hmm. that is not of to the customer expectation they will reject it and that will have very adverse uh, repercussions implications on on the on the film right and in the film industry any failure, whether it is the computer imagery or anything, is very serious and will be very mm -hmm. noticeable. You can't hide it. Your film is yeah. shown in the screen. So you can't hide anything. Everything will be, you remember in this case, the, the dinosaurs, they had a computer imagery in a desert or something like that. Those are going to be very, very uh, obvious and will be seen. Right. And therefore, the viewers will be in doubt whether the film whether the film is a flaw or whether the film is not a thing what they expected it to be. Okay. And these films, the people who are watching the films, particularly, uh, they, that's the form of entertain from from for them whether it's a DVD or whether the film, and you know, uh, it's part of their life. It's part of their, the people's life. Some people, you know, somehow they want to watch a film every week or something like that. Some people, they want to watch every film every night or whatever it is. So it's a part of their life. And if they are not happy, they will are sure to uh, be critical, put it on the social media. Unlike those days, uh, it gets exposed overnight in a moment mm -hmm. all over the world. Yeah. Social media has become very, very effective. Uh, we, you know, we can communicate everything on the social media. I remember when my daughter was sick um, last year, uh, suddenly she came and told me about a kidney transplant and I did not mm -hmm. have any money at that time because by that time I spent all money what I had on dialysis and uh, I was, you know, I simply did not know where to go, what to do at that time. The only thing mm -hmm. what I something on a, on a guidance something like a divine guidance i came and put that the whole story on the social media on the facebook and you know just said that my daughter is going through all these crises everything and uh, you mm -hmm. know asking people to support and you won't believe in our own sri lanka rupees within about uh, one month still we do not know who has put that money but we collected almost about 3 million 3.5 million Sri Lanka rupees in Indian rupees it's about one and a half million just came into my bank account from totally unknown sources the people came and supported oh. that's the social media impact today in this world right so uh, any defect any defect in any film will be impossible to rectify once it is done, once it is screened. It's not like a product where first shipment will go, you can record and put up a new product or something like that, isn't it? Here it's mm -hmm. one, yeah. one final product and either it's a success or a failure. This is the film industry. Right. right. So, it, therefore, we need to be very, very much focused on ultimate quality. Because it's not a 
it's not the product that where we can subsequently correct it. Once it goes to the screening, after that there's nothing we can do. Normally manufactured product, okay, first product is banned in the market. You can record it or you can do an improved version of the second shipment and do it. But mm -hmm. not with the film. Right. Not with the film. And on a film like, uh, on the film industry, we depend very much on, just like what they said, many third party outsource involvement. Yeah. Outsourced mm -hmm. involvement. So once those outsourced parts are done and embedded in the film, there is nothing we can do to remove and to again to redo. It's going to be a very costly thing. Okay. So therefore, it is very, very vital, very, very important that we, sub we have total quality management adopted in our company mm -hmm. for every film. It's good to, it's not good, it's, I mean, it's definitely important for us to have a quality circle. Right. A, a set of volunteers from the field, from different, mm -hmm. different areas to mm -hmm. be volunteers and to see that the quality is monitored at every stage, every right. stage of yeah. the chain. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And for that to be a success, the top management must be totally, totally committed to the quality, not only to quality, but even to the recommendations and the solutions suggested by the quality circles. Okay, yes. Yeah. I remember there was a question in P3 some time back. Uh, you know, there was a quality control, uh, quality circle working in a particular company. Uh, Mm -hmm. the, most of the employees, they were coming from outstation for the work and uh, it was a five day week from Monday to Friday and uh, most of the days, the, so what they found was that Monday, first half of the Monday, the things are very, very poor production, right? Because they have just yeah. come from home and their minds are, hearts are still at home and the things are not happening. And right. Friday evening, again, the things are not happening because the people's minds, hearts were all to go home and no productivity. So the quality yeah. circle suggested that to start, that to, you know, do, when they're setting the target, to ignore the Monday morning, Friday evening, but they said to get the target through, to increase the working hours on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, because whatever it is, they are in-house people. I mean, they are going to stay in the hostel or wherever uh, to mm -hmm. increase the number of hours for Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. Right. right. The management did not like the idea. Management thought it is going to be extra overtime and mm -hmm. uh, extra electricity. So management never, never wanted to implement it. So the quality circle got very frustrated because their idea was not accepted by the management. And ultimately, mm -hmm. it did not work true. Right? The, the yeah. idea is, it may, be a, it may be a success, it may not be a success, but they should give a try. They should yeah. give it a try for it. At least two weeks, three weeks, or one month, put a try and see whether it is going to work it through. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. so the idea of the total quality management, you can just have for the namesake, we are having total quality management, all that, but that's not good enough. We must always think the, the, the management commitment to the total quality management. Yeah. They must demonstrate that they are commit, committed to the quality. They must demonstrate that they are all right with the quality circles. They are prepared to accept quality circles recommendations. Not that everything will work it out, but at least to give a try for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And also, in this case, if you are going to, because we know in our film industry, we are going to work with a lot of, uh, lot of uh, outside people. So we should select the right people to do our outsourced work, even at a higher cost. 
I remember in your answer you mentioned that one to some extent. You said we can negotiate with Plate because we can give them the future work. Hmm. Yeah. So something like that. You are not going to go for many, many, many suppliers uh, looking for the cheaper prices. You go for quality supplies. Yeah. Quality. The quality matters. It's not the price. Mm -hmm. I suppose if they had gone with Plate earlier, they could have done it a better job rather than going with the, the earlier people, Jonathan's, and then trying to change it and all that. That's not the way to go forward. Mm -hmm. So when you are going with total quality management, particularly outsource services, what you are going to get, select your outsourcer, screen them, have a good relationship, good communication, good coordination, will bring that total quality into the field. Yeah. So this is the concept that they can use it. So probably what you want to talk about is that you will be saying you are very happy that the film has become a success, but you are equally or more than happy the attitude of the board taken to introduce total quality management because you believe total quality management can bring better films and better quality to our industry in the future. And for that, right. the concept is to get it right first time. So we don't want a film to be done and to it to be redone. We want the quality circle to work and for it to work, the top com the top management com uh, commitment, the quality circles to, to, to work on the thing and to get the entire team on the quality management. And quality is what the weaver wants. So in the film industry, right. film industry, because you know, the people who are in the film industry, like the main actors, they know what the people want. So have a yeah. have a have a close coordination with them, close rapport with them, and they will be able to help us a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that's the first part. So we have to do the we will do the second part also on that question. That's all about the cost of capital. So that's another little bit of a technical area. Uh, tomorrow we have another lesson, no? Yes, we do yeah. have, yeah. Yeah, 11 o'clock. So we will meet tomorrow at 11 o'clock and uh, we will look at the second part of this question and probably I will say now with this one, we are finishing the first three hour mock. Okay. The, right, four forty-five minute sections we are finishing. So we probably, we should be able to start the uh, next one tomorrow. Uh, I will see what we can do. And uh, tomorrow, let's meet it at 11 o'clock, Veena. Yes. Uh, Kumar, uh, yeah. I just wanted to ask, because last time you said you'll be discussing some time management techniques with me. Yes, yes, and yes. yes. Tomorrow, yeah. we will do that one also. Let, uh, just remind me, before I start, we yeah. will do that one also. Yes. Yeah, so that is so um, because I just want to write all the answers pertaining to that. I don't want to miss out on time. Okay. So okay. if I have many ideas in my mind sure. and I am not able to deliver it, it's not point. Yeah, yeah. Tomorrow we will. I have some uh, some uh, uh, screen, some uh, slides on. That. We'll do, do that yeah. one tomorrow. No problem. No problem, Kumar. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow, Vina. Okay. Take okay. care, Kumar. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.